I'm Big Tractor Power fans. I'm at the 2022 National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm here with David from Case IH, and we're gonna talk about the new 2150 S Planner. This is a planner that has a lot of capabilities, and I'm from Western Kentucky, and I know farmers are gonna really like it in that area for the double crop beans. Yeah, absolutely. So super excited to show uh, really the growers uh, what we've got with Case IH for a new planner offering. So not going to replace anything. It's an add to our planner offering. We'll have three solutions for growers in that narrow offering. We're going to keep that 1245 around. It's a great solution uh, for, for customers, a great price point. Uh, we've got 2140s out there as well. We're going to continue that in that narrow row offering. We're going to add to it with 2150S. So taking that 2000 series early riser row unit, that agronomic DNA of that row unit, and packaging it differently. So this is going to be a front fold trailing design planner. So we're going to have a subframe assembly that goes ahead and folds up to that 90 degree position, transports around front folds uh, to a nice 13 foot wide transport package for those narrow rows. Fits well behind a dueled up tractor. So we can see here it's on a AFS Connect 420 Steiger. Absolutely. And yeah. Some people might think it's a lot of tractor, but it's these planners to have a lot of hydraulics and requirements. And yeah, so so hydraulic requirements a big piece of it as well. Uh, three remotes. We're asking for about 47 gallon a minute of oil, so a fair amount of oil. But there's a lot of features on this planner: hydraulic downforce, subframe downforce to make sure those rear row units have a solid foundation to push off of. And then we've got a liquid fertilizer as well as individual row unit downforce and as well as the bulk fill system on there as well. So a fair amount of, of requirement as far as oil goes. Uh, then in addition to that, this planter is high speed. So it's got the advanced seed delivery option on it. So when we talk horsepower and speed, that's a curve that gets pretty steep as we get to that 10 mile an hour uh, ceiling that we talk about in terms of high speed planting. So horsepower definitely uh, helps when we get into that higher speed market, okay? All right, well, let's take a look at these row units. and Yeah, absolutely. So as we look at, at 2150S, again, that, that 2000 series row unit with a significant amount of travel. So that's one of the things we look at when we look at agronomic, or excuse me, mechanical flexibility out of the 2150S is first the wing flex. And we're gonna see that be 15 degrees up, 15 degrees down. So those guys in more rolling train, your market, you talked about it, Kentucky, uh, Tennessee, over into Missouri, down into Eastern Kansas, those are areas where they need a lot of that flexibility. And this planner is going to offer it and give them that solution of that extra flexibility. But the row unit tags along with that flexibility in the wing. That row unit travel at eight inches up and eight inches down is going to help maintain in that rolling terrain great, excellent ground contact. Yeah, so if we look at the rear subframe assembly on 2150S, you're going to see a nice tube box frame design, vacuum in frame single back fan on 2150s to minimize some of that oil requirement that we need you know lessen the heat lessen the demand on the tractor the load on the tractor so i've noticed over the last 10 years the case ih early riser it's gotten quieter and quieter <laughs> out in the field it's a really streamlined nice nice planner it, absolutely so that back fan with the single back fan is going to minimize noise in, a, in addition to all those other features we talked about but also we've got a vac deflector we understand this planner is going to go into like you talked about double crop conditions there's a lot, a lot of residue potentially blowing around and so we've got a van a, a vac fan deflector underneath there that's going to minimize some of that airborne debris that starts to happen because of that exhaust from that back fan so that's definitely a big benefit uh, when it comes to to uh, the, the supply and demand from the tractor side of it so as we look at the subframe assembly on 2150s you see it hydraulically controlled off that large cylinder and that's going to give those rear row units a solid platform to push off of when we look at the 24 row 20 inch offering you're going to see all of those row units reside on that rear subframe assembly there'll be none on this main frame just because of the real estate from the tires and everything. So all those rows are gonna live back there. Again, that subframe assembly, that downforce that's adjustable from the cab uh, is gonna give us that solid foundation to push off of. And so we talked about it going up uh, to that 90 degree position for a nice narrow transport package. The third position it would live in then would be in about that 60 degree range. Uh, that's gonna be a preset position when I go to straight 30 inch planting. You understand there's a lot of customers out there that are gonna use this for corn planting at 30 inches. Uh, maybe some other crop at 15 so we want to be able to make that change very easily from the cab 
So that controls my wing subframe assembly. The mainframe subframe assembly also controlled from the cab and lifted hydraulically as well. So operator ease of use, very, 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 very enhanced on. A lot of clearance too. Yeah, That's, uh... a lot of clearance, absolutely. So we look at guys wanting to get into uh, tight field approaches, steep field approaches, high crown roads, railroad tracks, those types of things that we have to deal with on a regular basis as a grower. Uh, we've got a lot of clearance. We can raise this planter and get it up, get row units up off the ground a long ways, including the mainframe row unit to clear those obstacles. So this planter has a lot of new capacity over previous Case IH early risers. Uh, what is the setup here as far as your fertilizer tank and your commodity tank for the seed? Yeah, so we, we, we absolutely understand that a grower to get that crop into a narrow planting window and going to gain some yield by getting into that optimized planting window for the geographic area that they're planting into. So we look at capacities and so increasing those capacities uh, with liquid and seed so that we match the fills on those and the operator can spend more time in the seat getting that seed in the ground. So we look at liquid capacity first. You see it's an all new tank design for us, 525 gallon capacity out of that tank. So whether that customer's applying that product in furrow whether he's doing a two by two solution, which we have several different solutions, frame mounted, row unit mounted, uh, for those customers from the factory, we've got multiple different application points uh, with this liquid fertilizer system. You'll see a three section control is gonna be standard. So my three section control valves there, flow meter, I've got a sparge valve, I can go ahead and recirculate that product as well. And then I'm gonna have the optional individual row shutoffs as well that I can shut off each individual row if I'm putting down a high value product in furrow or something along those lines I can easily do that so that's my liquid capacity let's talk seed capacity all right as well, well, that's important Absolutely. walk back here and look at the yeah you can see so the new 2150s decal up there sure seed capacity on 2150s each one of these tanks is going to be 50 bushel but probably the biggest benefit we've got is optional scales and so understand we don't consume product equally from right tank to left tank so we want to know how much is in those. We want to do partial fills to, just to finish a smaller field. We've got a scale head out back. It'll tell us how much is in that right tank, left tank. And also we can see that from the cab. That's really nice because when I'm out there filming planters, it always seems like I got that great shot and then they stop to check it. Yep. Two more passes and then they're scooping seed from one to the next. So right. that's really nice to be able to just absolutely. see what's going on from the tractor. Right. Enhance that customer experience, that user experience. Yep, absolutely. So. Yeah, that's 2150S kind of in a nutshell. There's a lot of other little things that have been enhanced on 2150S. We look at things like LED lighting. We look at the optional wing down force. Uh, we've got all the different agronomic features we can put on the row units from in-cab residue manager control, in-cab closing control, uh, high-speed delivery as we talked about earlier with that advanced heat delivery system, um, air down force as an option or hydraulic downforce is an option on that One thing I wanted to look at too, uh, while we're looking at the features, is the hitch. I was sure. pretty impressed with that, uh, yeah. seeing it this past summer out in the field. So it's, let's, uh, let's walk around and take a right. look at the hitch on 2050. So we can take a look and see that this hooks right up to the Steiger's uh, three-point hitch. And that, what I was really impressed was this swivel here. That really gives you some nice flexibility in the field and turning on the headlands. Yeah, absolutely. So. A couple options on 2150S you'll see uh, the two-point option. We'll see this two-point option there. Um, but we also do have the drawbar solution. So don't under we understand you know, some of these higher horsepower requirements that we're asking uh, out of the tractors for high-speed planting. Uh, bigger four-wheel drives may not have a three-point hitch. And so we can go the drawbar solution. So it's a little bit different design here. We'll have a drawbar pull solution. Uh, two-point is uh, gonna be by far our most popular option. You'll see on the two-point, it also has an offset. So we understand as we switch between 15 inch rows and 30 inch rows, we may want to offset that so the tractor tires or tracks are not running on that old row. And so we've got that ability to offset um, that hitch there to, to make up for that, that row placement versus the old row and new row. That's a nice feature. And I, I really liked it too for the corners. You know, sure. when it came up to the corner, you kind of just twist right around and back in and square it off with ease. And it gives you a lot of control really of that planter is there's a lot of weight back there, right? And so we're gonna control that well. Uh, larger cast design than we've had before in the past on our previous models. So we understand we're pulling these planters faster as we discussed through the field. So making sure that we've got that right connection to uh, the horsepower out front, the tractor that's out front. 
So, you know, then also cleaning up just hydraulic routing as well, hose connections, minimizing the number of requirements, uh, the number of hoses we need for that hydraulic output from the tractor. Very nice. Well, I, I appreciate the tour of this planner, and I know there's a lot of Western Kentucky farmers that are eager to put these in the field. Absolutely. Super happy to bring it to them for spring of 2023, um, and can't wait to, to get them in the field.